if there would be a poster boy to represent America at the turn of the millennium, the celebration of celebrity, the rich almost reeking of prosperity, continuing proof that the American dream exists, then Donald Trump's picture might best fill the frame. His name is on buildings, his face is in magazines and newspapers, both are on the covers of three previous books, all bestsellers, and now he's coming out with a fourth. But this time, he's not talking only about his prowess to make millions of dollars. Now, he is also talking about his hope to win millions of voters. That's right. New York City developer Donald Trump says he wants to be President of the United States. Donald Trump had lots to celebrate on New Year's Eve. The booming economy has filled his Atlantic City casinos with big spenders, his New York City buildings with wealthy buyers, and his mind and heart with the ultimate dream. I am absolutely serious about conceivably running for the office of president. And if I run, and if I won, I think I'd be a really good president. Prepared to take that roll out of your pocket, take the rubber band off and start counting out real money? Well, as I've said, I'd be prepared to spend $100 million on the race if necessary. Spending that money would be as easy as pounding a nail. He is worth an estimated $1.5 billion. They go with the mirror and then the splash. He inherited a small fortune from his father, himself a builder. How do you like the way it came out, the curtain? Great. But Sorry. the sun has taken developing and his assets to heights taller and more dazzling than any skyscraper. Good detail. For Trump, the best things in life wow. are not free. Tough life. What's the sticker price on this thing? Well, it's about 350 I guess. And look at this. It's just his weekend home in Palm Beach, Mar-a-Lago, all 118 rooms of the place. His newest golf club is just down the road. Round so, figures, what did it cost you to build it? $35 million. Well, it's not much if you say it quickly. Nothing well, green be... goes unmentioned. $3 million, this area right here. This will be one of the great courses of the world. But his life wasn't so great a few years ago when he was $900 million in personal debt and teetering on the brink of oblivion. And it's and now my company's much bigger, much stronger, much more powerful than it ever was before. Because at certain times when it seemed that there was just no hope, those are the times that turned out to be the best for me because I don't give up. Come on, let's go. Where Trump was on the go to last month was California for two days. Very nice group. He's beginning his so-called presidential exploratory trip. Traveling as a president on Air Force One could be a downgrade. He has masterpieces in the back and a master bedroom up front. We tagged along to see if he was serious or just showing off. Day one had three events. First, a press conference with very little press. Well, I'm here for a number of reasons. Uh, tomorrow, as you know, uh, there's a big speech at the uh, arena. And uh, I guess we have about 20,000 people for that. And then uh, tonight we're doing Jay Leno. Trump seemed not to mind sharing the spotlight with his girlfriend at the time, a European model named Melania Knauss. Next on the campaign trail, the pre-taping of that Leno show. And our guest tonight, the next president of the United States, Donald Trump, once caught a sexually transmitted disease from himself. <laughs> <laughs> He'll tease me, there's no question about it. He historically has, he always will. They say a job like president requires a big ego. How do you think? <laughs> you think you can handle it? I'm not sure my ego is big enough. That's one of the things which I can <laughs> Really, can I write that down? Uh, you can write it down. <laughs> Last on Trump's day calendar, a meeting with the group he must win over to even make a run at the presidency. California Reform Party loyalists. Political consultant Scott Reed explains. Well, the Reform Party was really created back in 1992 when Ross Perot saw a niche and he saw that the people were disgusted with the direction of the country. And Donald Trump now has stepped back and recognized that he wants to be a major influence in national politics and he's decided to go out and attempt to become the nominee. Well, it's a great honor to be here. It's a great honor that so many folks have shown up. Uh, tomorrow, and, and you're all invited as my guest, I'm giving a little speech, and I just heard that 21,000 people are showing up, so I don't know. I think we can find People picking up campaign literature found it to be mostly just promotional stuff for Trump's new book, 
They felt no better when Trump seemed unaware of the party platform. Well, nobody knows what the Reform Party platform is, to be totally honest with you, because, because to be, to be honest And he then ignored the Reform Party position not to attack fellow candidates, like Pat Buchanan and his new ally, Lenora Falani. So you have an ultra-right and a communist together. This is the partnership. You can have that partnership. We don't want it. You can Opening have... night of Trump on the stump got mixed reviews. I was disappointed because I felt that he, um, I thought he was very attacking of, of other members of the party, which I thought was very disrespectful. I think he came, I think you heard what he had to say, and we're excited. I think he's a oh. con man and ought to go back to New York. Why? Because he's coming out here just trying to destroy our party. That's the way I look at it. The way Trump looks at it, he's at least better than everyone else in the race, beginning with John McCain. A little bit. I mean, he was captured. So and he flew combat me, missions question, with distinction. Does being captured make you a hero? I don't know. I'm not sure. George W. Bush. Well, so far I've been very, very saddened by the fact that he certainly doesn't seem like Albert Einstein. Do you think he'd been governor if his father had not been president? No. Well, Bill Bradley. Uh, a man who I just don't have tremendously high regard for, and I think he'd be a terrible president. The late Sam Rayburn of Texas was quoted once as saying of the people Lyndon Johnson picked around him, I'd feel better if they'd at least run for sheriff one time in their life. You understand the spirit and the essence of that. Sure, I do, but I know the politicians, and I know how... Hey, look, I know politicians. I know politicians perhaps better than you know politicians, and you interview them all the time. I deal with them all the time, at almost every level. Well, certainly you've given them more money than I have. I've given them a lot of money, and they come to my office, and they ask for a lot of money, and within the system, I give it. And, I mean, I know these folks well, and some are dumber than a rock, and... I know who they are. I know the smart ones. I know the not so smart ones. And I know that I can do a very good job. The only job Trump is doing, according to marketing expert Jack Trout, is a snow job. It's one of the great media scams, I think, of, of all time, from, from his point of view. I don't think Donald uh, accepts any bad press. I think just as long as you spell his name right, I think he's pleased. Then why is he doing it? Well, I think in his own mind, beyond feeding his ego, uh, he see, I think he sees it as a help to his business because there's also Trump the brand as, as well as Trump the ego. And he has his name on everything. Trump the brand and Trump the ego. Both at play. Part of what Donald Trump is about is selling the name. And how better to sell the name than to run for president? Am I wrong about I that? I can understand it, Dan, and I'm not holding you. I haven't changed my opinion of you at all by you saying that. But the fact is that uh, I'm very serious about it. I'm looking at it very seriously. And I wouldn't be surprised if I said yes. Let's talk about your values. What are your values? Well, I think I'm a great father. I have fantastic children, four great children. And I believe in family. I believe in marriage. I believe in religion. You said do you value family? I do value family. In fact, I think the biggest disappointment was that I haven't had the kind of marriage that I had hoped I would. But they have been the kind the gossip press loves. There was Ivana, the divorce. She then ridiculed him with the name The Donald. Then there was Marla, first the headline, the best sex I ever had, and then the marriage. And tonight we had, had the perfect ceremony that was blessed by God. So. The divorce was six years later. As a person, as a man, what's the best thing about him? He's a loyal man. And what's the worst thing about him? I don't have the worst thing. Well, there has to be something. Nobody's perfect. I don't have it. <laughs> He's done a good job. Wow. Donald, I think you would agree. This is not your average thinking about running for president picture. I would say this is a little bit different. I agree with that. This is a little bit different. And different, too, was the main event on his second day of campaigning in California. Amazing man, Donald Trump! Remember those 21,000 people Trump said were waiting for him? It turns out they were there for motivational speaker Tony Robbins. 
Trump was the paid entertainment. He says his fee was $100,000. His message appeared less high-minded than mean-spirited. Get even. When somebody... When somebody screws you, screw them back, but a lot harder, folks. Afterwards, Trump continued acting less the presidential candidate than politically incorrect. You know, it's amazing. She looks so conservative. She's got the glasses and everything. The only problem is she's hardly got a dress on. Okay, go ahead. The beautiful woman in the white semi-blouse. How do I go about creating the capital that I need to start my business when all I have is my knowledge and my dream? Meet a wealthy guy. <laughs> It should not be surprising that Trump has some popularity with the kind of people building his newest skyscraper, blue-collar working men. They enjoy the Donald, acting like the Don. How you doing, everybody? Hey, fellas! But these are among the few attaboys he's getting. Recent CBS News polls find that Trump has the highest unfavorable vote the poll has ever recorded. Business consultant Jack Trout says it reveals Trump's true intentions. Number one, he would never spend the money. Uh, he would not spend that kind of money to lose, and he knows he would lose. So he's getting what he really wants, which is to be treated uh, at a higher level. Would you go so strong to say he doesn't have a prayer? I would say he doesn't have a prayer, yes. I would. To me, there, there, are, there, are, there are marketing situations which, uh, as we say, the impossible is impossible. This is one of them. Mr. Trump, please, thank you. Nice. Trump says he will announce a decision in February. Okay. Meanwhile, he's living the life of the man who has everything. He may no longer be dancing with Melania. They broke up just a few days ago. But his flirtation with the public and the presidency is far from over. Whether or not some of the so-called Trump magic in terms of real estate, in terms of hotels, in terms of everything, translate into votes? I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe people will pay me $10 million to live in a building that I built, but they won't pay me two cents to press a lever saying Trump for president. That's possible. 